Hi, I'm Susan Mallory. Welcome to the inaugural Reader of the Month Q&A. This month's reader is Lise Murray. Hi. Question number one, what do I read? Well, this is a complicated question. I've now reached the point where I really can't read what I love most, which is romance, unless I'm writing nothing. Um, and I can't read women's fiction unless I'm writing nothing. So basically, I get a break between books to read what I really want to read the rest of the time I'm reading other things. So part of what I read is research for upcoming books. So the Mischief Bay 4 book, which I'm writing next, which you will be reading in 2018, I hope I got that right. Um, I have Yorkie Poos. I've decided there's dogs. Dogs play a big part. Um, I'm going to do a point of view 16 year old girl I've never done that so I'm very excited but to get myself in the mood I'm reading John Green American Girls Social Media and the Secret Life of Teenagers and then this one is hysterical Friends and Frenemies and it's really for middle school but it's how to deal with conflict and then I to get myself still more in the mood Seventeen Magazine one of the heroines is studying the human genome so we have my husband saved me this, The Time Magazine. So that's my work reading, my play reading. So next up in my list is on First Ladies. If it was a library summer program, I would get double credit on that. I am wrapping up my friend Kate's Birds of a Feather mystery because I can read mysteries. I saw the, the video for the movie and like sobbed and I have a thing. Try not to break the tear seal early in the morning. It was first thing in the morning. I just, I've watched it like five times so I went and got the book, A Dog's Purpose. I don't even have to open it to know I'm going to be sobbing. That's what I'm currently reading. Question number two, do I go do research at my locations and which do I really like? Um, when I set in a real city like Seattle or parts of Los Angeles or when I lived in Texas when I wrote there, I've usually been there. And sometimes I will go look at a site or make sure it's what I remember. Lately, everything I'm writing is set in a fictitious location. So Fool's Gold isn't real, um, Happily Ink isn't real, and Mischief Bay isn't real. And before that, Blackberry Island wasn't real. So those I make up, and what I do is I, I sort of figure out what I want and what I need. My assistant Janelle will do a map for me. This is what I work from. I have a happily, a couple of Happily Ink maps, and so this is sort of the basic area of, this is for example Happily Ink, and you can see Millie down in the corner, Millie the giraffe, and then I have a more detailed rendition of the town. And I work from these all the time. Every, almost every day I'm writing, if they're physically going somewhere, and I say, oh, she turned on to Balance Street. She really did. I'm, I'm working from an actual map. Question three, what do I do when I get blocked? If you had a bunch of people over and one bathroom in your house and the toilet was blocked and the plumber showed up and looked at you and said, I'm not in the mood today, he would be like, honey, you are in the mood, get in there, fix it, we're dying. So that's sort of my attitude about writing. But it doesn't really matter if I'm not in the mood. I'm on a schedule, I write a lot of books in a year. So even if I'm not in the mood, I write. And um, the best part is when I read it, I can't tell if it was easy to write or hard to write. Every day in the chair, I show up for work, just like you show up for work every single day. As a reader of the month, you get to pick a backlist title, and Lisa asked me to pick, so I picked The Christmas Wedding Ring, and the reason I picked this book is, first of all, I think the cover's very, very beautiful, but this is a special book for me for two reasons. The first reason is it was originally published as The Wedding Ring Promise, and I was given the opportunity to take one of my books and update it, and I chose this book because I've always loved it. I love the characters, I love the setting, There's, they go to Solvang, which is I used to go as a kid, which is really meaningful. And I'm not going to do a spoiler for those of you who haven't read it, but the heroine is going through something significant in the book. And at the time, a friend in my life was going through the same thing, and I had no way to deal with it. I could call her, I could send cards, I could be supportive, but I couldn't do anything and it was the most horrible frustrating experience so I decided to turn that into a story where as the author I could do exactly everything and make it the way I wanted it to be. I love a good Christmas story um, 
and then beautiful cover. So I hope you enjoy. Well, this has been really fun for me. I hope that you enjoyed it too. And I hope you'll come sign up for Reader of the Month. You're going to get to ask three questions. We're going to send a book to you. Come online to SusanMallory.com slash Reader of the Month. And there's a hyphen between each of the words. Thank you.